Well, the 17 year old Baltimore boy who's been suffering from lead paint poisoning since he was an infant is awarded a multi million dollar verdict against his family's former landlord. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us live from the studio with more on the case. And Lowell, it sounds like a case that's going to get a lot of landlords' attention. Yeah, it certainly is, uh, Donna. Lawyers say the 17 year old who we're not identifying because he's a minor was exposed to flaking and chipping lead paint as a child, and that has led to developmental problems. Monday, a jury in Baltimore City Circuit Court felt that his family his landlord did nothing to prevent this and awarded him almost $2.1 million for his past and future suffering. It was from 1997 to 2001 that the young boy lived with his mother and grandmother in this home in the 1600 block of East 25th Street in Northeast Baltimore. According to court records, the house was owned by Jacob Dackman and Sons, which served as the family's landlord. All the landlord had to do was repaint the house. And they didn't. Bruce Powell, the family's attorney, says that the boy's grandmother reached out to the landlord and got the runaround from a woman in the office. Said she spoke with a woman named Frances at the Dackman offices. Uh, when she explained this to Frances, Frances' response was, Well, it's too bad you didn't tell us before you moved in. And they, in fact, they never painted during the course of the tenancy. The landlord's own records uh, back that up. The lawsuit revealed that the boy was tested a number of times as a young child and had elevated lead levels. As a result, his life has been a constant struggle, as attorneys say, and will continue to be in the future. He's been struggling in school uh, up to this point. Right now, uh, he's having some serious problems. He's in high school. Uh, last year, his GPA was down below a 1.0. Uh, he's going to have to take bridge classes, and he's taking Saturday classes and coach classes to try and stay on track to graduate, but that looks very iffy at this point. After hearing emotional testimony in the case, a Baltimore jury awarded the boy and his family almost $2.1 million, claiming Jacob Dackman and Sons were to blame. We are seeing these cases less and less because there's greater compliance. There's been, there has been great success on what we've done. Ruth Norton but with the Green and Health Homes Initiative says that this case not only shows the courts are paying attention to lower levels of lead in children, but it is also holding the property owners responsible. Well, I think it clearly shows that if you are having property owners who are not following lead safe work practices, not responding to complaints, um, that the courts recognize that there is long term serious and irreversible damage that is done to children by putting them at risk. Now, we tried to reach someone from Jacob Dackman and Sons for comment. A person who answered the phone said he was not familiar with the case. Both the family's attorney and the Green and Healthy Homes Initiative say that the company has been and continues to be involved with similar litigation. We're live in the studio tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.